hello everybody welcome again to my channel and today i have this amazingly tasty dish with lamb biryani let's just get started first i've taken about four to five tablespoon of oil and it's already hot there and now we are going to add my homemade spices now you guys might be thinking what is this i have taken cardamom cinnamon sticks and bay leaves and also cumin seeds i've grinded them well and i think homemade ones are they smell really good i think and now we have the lamb i have taken about 250 gram of lamb there well you can now just let it cook for a while and as you can see it started to become a little juicy well i've closed the lid for about a minute and this is how it looks after a minute or so and then we can add garlic ginger and yeah ginger garlic paste about three tablespoons no a teaspoon you can just mix it together properly and nicely give it a good stir and again you can close the lid for about a minute or so and let it cook Now you can add around four to five chilies and tomatoes. I've taken about half of tomato. Yeah, it was a large one, so I took half. And again, you gotta mix it properly and let it cook for a while. There you can see it start to bubble. It's getting out and all juicy. Well, now you have around one or and half onion I've taken and uh, they look really gigantic there sorry about that i have very bad cooking i mean cutting skills and there goes in my carrots i think it just gives a good texture it looks beautiful and and of course it's healthy you should always have some of vegetables when you're making biryani i think that wow they look beautiful isn't it okay and now I've cooked it for about two to three minutes again. I've stirred it in between. And there goes those beautiful looking sour cream. Well, I had no yogurt, so I used this. Just mix it properly. Let it go. Take in all, consume all that nice and proper stir. And let it cook for four to five minutes on low heat. And stir it in between so that you're safe that it's not doesn't stick down there and I also added around two spoon of salt teaspoon of salt before but I don't know I forgot to video it I guess and here again I've added one and a half again so that to balance it out and also to show it yeah and now you can add around one teaspoon of curry powder and a little bit of garam masala. I think it just gives a good taste. I already had my own homemade ones, but you can add a little bit of that too. And let it cook again. Stir it, mix it, and cook again. Again, after a minute or so, now I've added rice. I've washed and rinsed the water out. And now you're going to aggressively stir it so that it mixes really well with all that inside there with the rice and after a minute or so again you have to stir it and then add about four to five glasses of water and yeah and here you can check if the salt is balanced or not and add it according to that once it starts to boil you can just close the lid for 10 minutes yeah once it starts to boil just Lower the heat for 10 minutes and and then cool it down and there you go. The dish is ready and if you, the color you see is actually just a bit of food color I've added. You don't have to, that's really optional and you just, yeah, now you can, okay. I'm mesmerized with the color and so I hope you guys liked it and I hope you could maybe try it and check it out yourself. And in fact, you can make it with some other meat, chicken or anything you, anything you like. Basically, it goes 
perfectly with this recipe and as you can see it looks really beautiful and it tasted really really good i should say that good amount of texture there and the salt was balanced and it was just perfect and also you could add side dishes as you like curry but i think i've chosen salad it's healthy and it goes really good with it well that's all for now thank you so much for watching and i hope you all like it like and subscribe bye bye, bye.